young ladies obviously have a lot of them are students also in, in the local colleges involved in other things but also our valley dog dancers do a very nice job here entertaining the the audience well there you see what the pennsylvania valley dogs have not done here in the second quarter it's like two different ball games and they're trying to get that spark lit right now and will not do it this way at the time the shot clock runs out on them. Good, good team defense by the goals there and this is what brought them back there they really have done a good job this second quarter and those stats we're going to be talking about them at halftime i'm sure what a difference a quarter makes Shot is up, but no good. And the follow is good by Bates off the missed shot by Smith. Bates coming off the bench and playing very, very well for the Seagulls. And now the Seagulls have the lead. 49-48 with 2.08 left in the second. Johnson looking to get off the sky. Fishing, and the ball comes back out at him. KJ almost has to take the shot. He gets it to go. Shooter's touch. Got the nice bounce and roll. And that's his first field goal here in the second quarter after AC takes its first lead since the early minutes of this contest. Rebound by Abney. KJ with the basketball. Dogs by one. Young for the three. No good. Battling hard as Abney gets it back. Can't connect. And snuffing out that fire is Lamar Greer. Greer oh, yeah. looking at this thing. Oh! Reggie Welsh. Good job of, uh, again, getting back on uh, the offensive end by, by the Seagulls. I was going to say last time down, might have rushed the shot a little bit, Abby. Worked hard for the rebound. Rutland lets it sail, and now it seems as though this is the end of a championship contest, the way they're battling over every loose ball. AC has the one-point lead. Let's take a look. Nice finish there by number 34. Welsh, Reggie Welsh. And again, give credit to the Seagulls. They've worked their way in a position now where they're playing with a lot more confidence based on the fact that they came out and did a good job with a solid D and a smart offense in the second quarter. Lloyd looking for a little breathing room. Rear feeds underneath, shot taken, no good. Offensive glass is controlled by AC as Bates finishes it off after the miss by Greer. Bates is going to use this game, Dan, as a highlight film. Oh. He really has had an excellent first half coming off the bench for the Seagulls. Juan Johnson trying to get a fire lit. No deuce there, but he'll step to the line the hard way. Reggie. There you see the offender, Reggie Welsh. 6'6", top and state product. Has a good job of KJ showing his ability to use the dribble to beat the defense and then taking the, the hit. He really put his body out there for for the hit, but again, smartly kept the ball protected, tried to get the shot off, got the foul, made the first of two. KJ, how do you score 19 points in one quarter? You don't miss a free throw. He was four for four in the first quarter and continues on. Now six for six. A little soft press now by the dogs with 41 seconds. Seagulls try to eat up a little bit at a time. 17 on the shot clock. Boy, what a vision. Oh. <laughs> there it is, Dan. That's exactly what we're talking about. Get the ball to the open man. They double. Good recognition. Nice pass. Easy, easy basket. Oh, look at Juan Johnson trying to swipe Lloyd away. And <laughs> Lloyd is caught swiping back. Steve Smith finishing up things dramatically at the other end moments ago, his 10th point of the contest. Get a good look at it. Great pass and a strong finish there by number 52, Steve Smith. But give credit to Mike Lloyd. We talk about his offensive skills. The young man knows how to see the court, get the ball to the open man just as uh, he's supposed to when he is doubled and a good uh, good decision when to get it there unlike the first quarter Quan johnson has not had any uncontested attempts at the basket here in the second quarter they have basically clamped down on him but he continues to be the opportunist going six for six at the line so far and his first miscue at the charity strike Atlantic City with the ball and the lead, 55-53 as we close in on the break. Greer. Five seconds. 
dishes at the last moment. Shot is up and no good off the hand of Welsh. And the comeback really worked for AC as they take over the lead here, heading into the locker room at the break, 55 to 53. Rich and Jim and I will be back for our halftime show, and we'll take a look at Bill Bickle's numbers right after this on TV2 Sports.